prophet Noah, peace be upon him, one of his sons was called Sam, died many, many years before. And Jesus, peace be upon him, brought him back to life and said, look, this person's from long ago. They were pious fairy tales, would be the best way to describe them. The miracles performed during Jesus' life may cause debate among Christians and Muslims. But it's the Bibles and the Qurans conflicting accounts of his death that go to the heart of the differences between the two faiths. It so radically challenges the Christian view that I think it really bothers a lot of Christians. Just the, the idea that, hey, this is our Jesus. The Islamic version of the events of Jesus' life contradicts many core beliefs of the Christian faith. In the Christian narrative, the, the, the most central and fundamental point of Christianity is the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Well, Islam basically denies that. <laughs> In the Bible, Jesus is betrayed by Judas and crucified by the Romans. The Quran says this only appeared to happen. There are two versions in the Islamic tradition about it appeared to them. Some of them say that there was a replacement for Christ on the cross. When the Romans had captured uh, Jesus and were taking him away to the cross to be crucified, God Almighty set into motion a rescue operation. God turns the appearance of Judas Iscariot so that he looks like Jesus. And in all the scuffle and turmoil, the Roman soldiers actually arrest not Jesus, who is taken out of the situation by the four main angels. They arrest Judas. And he's saying, hang on a minute, I'm, I'm Judas. And they say, come on, you know, we know you're Jesus, we know what he looks like. And he sent down angels to carry Jesus up into the heavens. The other opinion is appearance and reality. You thought something happened, it didn't happen in reality, and it really leaves it at that. But Christians believe that the Bible's account of Jesus' death by crucifixion, written several centuries before the Quran, is the true one. One or two um, secular scholars have said that the, uh, the crucifixion of Jesus is one of the most historically verifiable events of the first century. We have such uh, good evidence for it. So there's absolutely no way the first Christians would want to invent that story. Um, crucifixion was about the most embarrassingly uh, and the most uh, socially disreputable way you could die um, in the first century. So to claim that for your, for your Lord and your Master is never going to happen. Christians believe this was the moment where God perfectly revealed his love for humanity by letting Jesus die on a cross for the sins of the world. Um, so it's a real fundamental, uh, central, crucial point of the Christian faith. Um, and as you look on into the, the history of the church, it's become, uh, again, central in our understanding, in our architecture, in our jewellery, uh, in our songs. Uh, it has an absolutely central place that Jesus really did die on the cross and then rise again three days later. To find the story of Christ's crucifixion and resurrection being changed is too much for some Christians. Jay Smith is an evangelical Christian who spent 25 years studying Islam. He's dedicated to disproving the Quran's version of Jesus' last day on earth. If Jesus were to come down to Speaker's Corner, I would imagine he'd get up on the ladder like I'm going to get up on the ladder. What he would say to Muslims specifically is they would probably confront them with what they've done to him. 
what their scriptures have done to him, not them personally, what their scriptures have done to him by taking away his divinity, by also suggesting that the greatest act of history, the most sacrificial uh, act that anybody has done to die for mankind, God himself to die for that which he has created, has completely been eradicated, has completely been thrown out of their scriptures. And we're going to be debating the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Did it happen or did it not happen? Okay, he's a veteran debater, Jay has taken on academics at all levels. Sure. Yet his heart remains at Hyde Park Speaker's Corner. Let each speaker say his point. He can be found here most Sundays, challenging Muslims on their beliefs about Jesus. I will take care of the Christians, you take care of the Muslims. All right, no problem. <laughs> My view is that um, a, a crucifixion happened, but it, it wasn't Jesus that was crucified. And there was there's many um, historical sources that, in the, that actually um, uh, show that many Christians believe that uh, Jesus was not crucified. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. The issue today is whether or not Jesus Christ died on the cross. You don't know if you're going to go off on a tangent and make no sense. You don't know if you're going to get a lot of cat calls. You have no idea how it's going to go on that particular day. You can't control it. Jesus himself speaks about his own death. He mentions it five times. Twice in Matthew, one in the book of Mark, and twice in the book of John. I believe in a loving and forgiving God, nor of a God who's so bloodthirsty that the only way he can forgive sin is not through his mercy. No, he needs blood sacrifice to forgive sin. The God of the Bible asks you to take nobody's life. The God of the Bible comes and gives his life for you. The God of the Bible did that 2,000 years ago. The God of the Bible, Jesus Christ, who came as a man, he was on the cross. He died for every one of you. It was his, his voluntary act. And even Paul himself... He's having arguments with other Christians who are denying that Jesus died. You've been to heaven? I have seen Jesus. And you've seen Jesus? Thank you very much. Bye bye. You don't believe the Old Testament. The Messiah the speaks about his own death. Because if Jesus had not been on the cross, then I'm damned today. We might as well tell tale and go home. The essence of Islam is submission to the absolute, to the divine. And that's where, where salvation lies, in submission to the divine, or at least a recognition of the divine. In Christianity, salvation lies through the acceptance of the blood of the Lamb. That is, is a completely different narrative than the Quran is giving. Who's right? Well, the Quran says, you make your choice here, and I'm... Muslims also dispute the Christian idea of Jesus' divinity, the belief that he was God in the flesh. In fact, the Quran warns Christians against this. Desist, it says, God is one and Jesus is his servant. To say Jesus died on a cross or that uh, Jesus was a little, the God was a little baby, or that God was died on a cross, or God was a little baby. This is a heresy. Um, and to say that Jesus was God, full stop, is also a heresy. A lot of Christians don't realize this. The Quran says that, that the, the heavens were re almost rent asunder, that the mountains were almost obliterated, that the earth almost shook at the idea that we would say that, that, that God had a son. In the Quran it says that on the Day of Judgment, God will actually ask Jesus Christ, Did you tell the people that you were God? And Jesus says, You know what I said, you see everything I say and do. I would never say that. Glory to you, transcendent are you. I would never say that. I have no right to say that. Zachariah King is a poet who runs an Islamic bookstall on Edgware Road. 
priest in confession weep out through each town, omen, sweet ground. This land will never suffer love again until my beautiful Motley Maria is refound. His understanding of Jesus in the Quran influenced him to reject the Jesus of Christianity. Why aren't you Muslim? Why aren't I? I'm a Jew. Why You're a Jew? Oh, I was previously Christian. Say Allah. Allah. Once I started to learn about Islam and realizing that you know, Jesus prayed, Jesus ate, Jesus went to the toilet, Jesus was born, Jesus had companions, all of these things that he went through pain, that he went through anguish, that he beseeched his Lord. These things are not befitting for me of God and therefore, therefore the Son of God. For Christians to believe that Jesus was God in human form is absolutely fundamental because um, it means that God understands us. God isn't some distant deity living in the glory of heaven. Uh, he 